in this game we are going to show you the dark side of the greatest detective ever. This is like the classic adventure game. We are going to examine some crime scenes to collect clues, question witnesses and suspects. At this point um, we are here at the Diocese of Knightsbridge and we are going to investigate what happened to the Bishop of Knightsbridge and who did it to him. So the game actually is all about the investigation, deduction and puzzle solving. Um, this is like Sherlock Holmes, the infamous detective. Back there we see Dr. Watson who is questioning Reverend. And this is the bishop himself. As I'm browsing the screen, you see it just like we see the magnifying glass to appear, indicating there is something that we are going to check in. You can see by his expression that he suffered terribly. His mouth is covered in blood, and I can make out strips of skin between his teeth. There are different wounds. His chest has been lacerated, by the, I would say, with a very sharp and fine blade. Made by the murderers and by the bishop himself. His stomach is covered in scratches. Quite evidently, they weren't made recently. We do not know why the bishop did it to himself, but the player will surely the fingers check have this been out crushed and, and we'll find out. Struck. There are also these terrible wounds made by the murderers. These burns are terrible. This poor man was tied just below the knees to stop him from walking, certainly, but mostly to free his feet. And here is the piece of rope that we are going piece to of rope examine was used to at the laboratory. Poor man. There is also another um, clue, the piece of finger the that finger didn't belong to the belong Bishop to the of Knightsbridge. How dreadful. Thus we are going to find someone who is missing his finger. His feet have been burned. Hmm. My first impression is that he wears a size 9 shoe. You! But what does it matter, Holmes? My God, Holmes, this man was horribly tortured. Something is missing here. Oh, yes? And what might that be? His shoes. Watson, his shoes are missing. So this is the most interesting part for Sherlock. We can actually... We do see that there are no shoes and we are not able to find them uh, in the entire room. But this leads us actually to the, to the footprints left by the murderers that we are going to examine since we are like what were the you real feet, detectives Watson? here. Have you noticed these prints upon the ground? Well, yes, those muddy marks. See here, Watson, footprints can often provide more vital information than the very best of informants. So these are the footprints and these are the tools that we are going to use. The magnifying glass will help us conclude about the social class of the people who have Hot the prints. boots like those worn by laborers. Or like this, this one. This print came from an expensive pair of shoes and it seems recent. It is not a laborer's shoe. There is also some information about the places they visited before. A fragment of stone. Peculiar. And of course we can measure each and every uh, print in order to conclude about the size, the height and the weight of the person. Size nine and a half. Like if we carefully and thoroughly examine all the six prints, this will lead us to the fact about the number of criminals. Like there are six prints. Perfect. Apparently we now we know have that there were three crooks. Three crooks. And the second question is, what do the footprints reveal? We have several objects or options to choose from, but this is evidently the case for one man left uh, wearing different shoes. Strange, but true. One of the crooks was wearing a different pair of shoes when he left here. So there are around 60 puzzles in this very game, and they can be sorted like detective puzzles, like the one with the prints, the brain puzzles or the brain work, and the deduction puzzles. I'm going to change to the deduction board. This is the place where we have all the clues concentrated uh, in one 
place actually and we are going to analyze each and every of them to combine them and link them together in order to find some leads that will be helpful in this very uh, investigation. So we actually know that the bishop's shoes are missing and we know that one of the murderers has left in different shoes. Combining the facts leads us to the idea that he actually left wearing bishop's shoes and which in its turn says that the murderers are poor. We are moving forward and we know that the bishop didn't own anything of value, not even in his safe. And we know that the veranda wasn't searched. So apparently this is the case that they were looking for something specific. And why the poor people uh, would look for something specific? Because they were hired by someone. We are done, we, we are like, we, we, we are right with this one and it turns green, but the player, he will have to finish the entire deduction. To do that, he will have to finish searching the entire room. And at this place, he would be able to come to the first leads in this very investigation, investigation of the bishop. There are several, like three to be precise leads and the player is free to choose which, uh, which lead to follow, which one is more urgent and important for the players. Uh, but during the investigation, player will be visiting different locations. Um, there are actually around 20 of locations to visit to teleport between them. And player will be also able to switch uh, characters, playing as Sherlock or Dr. Watson sometimes. But there is also another character that uh, we are going to control. The one that can see the prince. So apparently this is the best news of England. His name is Toby. Toby is leading this investigation. We are looking for the nephew of the bishop. because we actually know that the guys had the uh, serious argument the day before the bishop was killed. So this is it. Actually, the game arrives, it has like 20 locations to visit with 60 puzzles to solve. There are 60 characters to interact with and roughly it is something like 15 hours of gameplay. It arrives this September for PC, Xbox 360 and PS3. Thank <laughs> you.